So as I promised yesterday, today I do a follow-up video on explaining the new 501st Trooper design. I'm back on that 501st Battle Pack streak, I'm super hyped. So yeah, so as you guys have seen it before, a lot of people aren't happy with it. Um, you, you know what I'm talking about, like the weird, like the, the way the torso looks and just everything. Um, so I've come to a conclusion on why it looks that way, and it's actually really interesting. So, if you've noticed recently, um, LEGO has been changing up. So, like, I'm going to show pictures here. So you'll notice, like, back in 2008, they had the Clone Wars versions of figures. They have Anakin and all these other figures, and the clones, they had these weird-looking spread-out faces. I'm going to see if I, like, find one. I, I don't have one here. But they have these spread-out-looking faces, and it looks so weird, all the old clone and uh, Clone Wars heads. And recently, when you see the new sets, you'll see like the brand new Anakin um, from that. Um, the Jedi Starfighter, you'll see the new Mace Windu. And they don't look as weird. They look kind of like normal. So I'm going to be explaining kind of why the Fire Force Trooper look the way they do. So um, with the, Mace Windu, the new Mace Windu and Anakin, and I'm trying to think of a few examples, but they're blanking on me. What they're doing is they're mixing the Clone Wars and the movies together to like give it a feel. So like they're gonna do like the face is a bit more movie-esque, but like the torso is still gonna feel like the Clone Wars. Um, you, you'll see what I'm talking about because they tried to mix the movie version and uh, I'll get a picture of the movie version and the, the movie version and the, 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 the other one, the, the, the Clone Wars version, and they're kind of trying to mix the two together. So I think what they're doing with the Final First Trooper is because this boy, um, this Final First Trooper was made um, for the Clone Wars. And they want to, I think, have a mix between the feel of what the Clone Wars one would look like, right? And also they want to have a mix of what um, the movie one would look like. So it's kind of a mix in between. Now, some people are a bit upset by this because it's not 100% accurate. Like, you'll see um, the way they do, like, the, the arms in the new one is you'll see that the arms are white when originally they were blue. This is blue. Um, and yeah, so I think that's because I personally like the new ones and here's why, um, because like, I know a lot of people complaining about the helmet and stuff and so I'll start off with the helmet. Um, so first they have a big complaint I saw with the helmet is the little, uh, gray area around the cheeks area here. I'll put on a thing for representation. Um, this area, they made that really dark. And if you go back and look at the show or the movies, that's completely accurate. Now, Lego doesn't have as much of an engraved design. Um, I'm sure it'll look better in person, but um, I think that looks completely accurate and I like it. Um, and their complaint I sort of saw was like the way the helmet looks. I like the, the thing. I think that's a stupid complaint. I think it looks fine in that sense. Um, and yeah. So, anyway, moving down to the main point of contention that people are heating on is the torso between the arms or the, the stripe. So a lot of people don't like it because like uh, this area, um, it just gets really like fat, like like the, the, the blue stripe. And I think it's with Lego, it, it's kind of like, because like this one, I think, I think we're just used to it, but I think this one's too thin to be honest. Um, because if you go back, it, it does go down about ha to the midpoint in the movie, but with Lego, obviously, there are different proportions from humans, so it's gonna be a bit different. Um, and when people try to proportion these, because like, not, most humans, I'm gonna take a fair guess, most of them don't look like this. Um, last I checked. Um, but I, I think it's a bit weird, the way they do the, the um, like, I'm, not, I'm not like, not my favorite with the arms. I think the, that printed arms would have been better, obviously, but if they're not gonna be printed arms, I think white arms are their best bet. And if you don't like it, just switch it out with blue arms. I can't imagine they're too expensive. But yeah, with um, the Five First Trooper, it's it's like, um, yeah. I, with the long stripe, I think that looks accurate because it's a mix in between the movies where it's a, it's a lot wider and the show where it's a lot thinner. So they're trying to get a middle ground sort of. I think it could have slanted up a bit more. But if you, if you try to understand what I'm talking about, but yeah, like with Clone Army Customs, um, this is a bad example. Um, yeah, I don't have a 501st Trooper in Clone Army Customs. Big sad. Um, but yeah, so I, I think that was an important thing to bring up. Now with the Jetpack Trooper, everyone seems to be pretty good on it. And also, nobody is talking enough about 
how good those new five first troop legs look. They look beautiful. Um, they, I would go as far as saying they're as high quality as CC tier. Not like the ones that wrap completely 360, but like the front, it's just front printing. And I think they look beautiful. Um, no complaints there. They are absolutely stunning. Um, if you look at them, it just... I actually, the other day, I was going through it with the old LEGO 501st Trooper legs. And they, they're, they're pretty good. Um, and I was trying to find out which one was uh, the hard case from uh, LEGO. So I don't know if I was sent one with the pre-LEGO ones. But they look very similar, if not. So the person who sent it to me, it just the same as the LEGO prints. Or maybe it's just that good. I don't know. CC is very high quality, as you guys all know. So, yeah, it was just, um, ooh, I dropped that. Sad. Um, it, it was just very um, off-putting to me when people were like, oh, it looks like Lepin. Now, I've looked at Lepin, and I honestly don't see the resemblance. Like, I guess I sort of get why people would, like, think that, because we didn't really get official, like, high-res images, but now we do have them. Um, at least we have a high-res image of the Fire First Trooper itself. If you look at it, you'll see, like, um, the more detailed, and let me drop this thing again, and no more touching. And, and it just overall looked better. I, I like it a lot. And also, um, a little thing I'd like to bring up is with this Commander Gree, um, you'll see here, that stripe is pretty freaking wide, if you notice it. And I don't think that's because he's a different troop variant. Um, I think it just, I don't know. You guys can tell me. But, um, yeah. I just find it super interesting with the Fire Over Backpack. I know I'm doing a lot of videos on it, but I'm just so hyped. Lego's never done something like this before. Um, and I think I'm next in another video, I'm going to talk about all the type of clone trooper battle packs Lego needs to make, which that should be really, really cool because Lego does need to make a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, clone trooper battle packs. I have a feeling once this one sells well, um, we'll be seeing more soon, like within the next two years of it coming out. But also, I really want to know right now, I'm just like waiting for the leaks for the new summer sets. We haven't gotten any. Probably, we, I, I don't know if it's because of the virus and they're waiting to t announce the delay, but we haven't seen the, the um, usually by now we see the leaks for the AAT, unless they're cracking down on it more. I don't know. The AAT, we haven't seen the new Kylo Ren ship. We haven't seen the new uh, Knights of Ren ship. We haven't seen the new uh, AAT, which is weird. I, I'm curious to see what figures are going to be in that. I really hope it's Ahsoka, but it's probably going to be like, with our luck, it's going to be like Anakin and Battle Droid. <laughs> and, and a few Battle Droids, which would really stink. But anyway, I want to know what you guys think. Do you like the Clone Wars version better? Or do you like the um, regular um, in-between version better? Or do you like the movie version better? Because like... I don't know. Tell me in your thoughts down in the comment section below. Um, I'm just genuinely really curious to see what you guys have to think because when the Five First Battle Kit came out, I remember that there was like, whoa, everyone look, it's Five First Battle Pack. Um, everyone went mad. Um, <laughs> and some people didn't like it, some people do. And I guess I get it if you don't like it. Um, but people who are just saying they're not going to it just because it doesn't look perfect. I think that, like, if, if you're just an army builder like me, like, I'm not too keen on details, but CEC is still great and everything. Um, if you're an army builder like me and you just want to have a nice looking army, th then th this is the way to go instead of buying a bunch of CEC 501st troopers. But with, like, I don't know, just, I don't know how I feel about it. It's, it's weird. I don't know how I feel about the controversy exactly, but all I know is that I really, really seriously, um, like the new one, to be completely honest. And I can't wait to see more versions like it. Now, another thing I, I want to talk about, it's like, if you really don't like the helmet, get a CAC helmet. They're, they're about four bucks. Or, or if, if you really want to, because the torsos are like $15 minimum wherever you look. Like Minifig Magnus sells them for 15 bucks a piece. The only cheapest alternative would be to decal a, a, a helmet. Wait, no, what did I say, torsos? Um, if, it's, if the torso is your problem and you don't mind the helmet, um, then I'd recommend you, uh, I don't know. I can't really help you there, to be completely honest. But yeah, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Um, check out all the Patreon, the Discord, the everything. We're offering some amazing benefits through all, throughout all of those things. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Hello, everyone. Republic Studs here. 
just a quick reminder that we have this uh, Republic Stud minifigure for sale. You could buy your very own Republic Stud. This is my new like channel icon. So he's going to be around all the time. And you could buy your very own one for $20 if you use code RSTUDS at checkout. It's originally $25, so if you're not into discounts. I mean, it's your prerogative. But yeah, so if you want to buy this, make sure you check out the link in the description. And check out uh, the Republic Stud's official minifigure, which is just insane on BricksByBricksYT.com. Use code RSTUDS. Thank you for listening to this, and uh, yeah.